What's up, guys? I'm back again with my cousin, Marco, who is a personal trainer. How you doing, man? How's it going? Good, good. Not bad, not bad. What, uh, what's up so far today? Uh, just trainings and uh, got myself a training session as well for myself. All right, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing high yoga tonight, so I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, nice. So today we have a fun little video, and we are going to do a little bit of a theoretical uh, experiment discussion where, so Marco and I, you know, we're going to be stranded on an island. We can only bring six foods with us. We have to take into consideration, obviously, you know, our tastes, nutritional value, things like that. We cannot procure new foods. We just have these six foods that regenerate. So like, yes, theoretically, we could like hunt or whatever, but like, we're just going to exclude that possibility for now. Cool. I'm going to go first, but you're ready to roll. Yeah, you go okay. first. You go first. Yeah. Okay. So I am going to bring with me, I had to change out five would have been a better number, but I had to change the six because I couldn't omit certain things. So I'm going to bring with me the following. I'm going to try and explain. I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring, let's get it out of the way. I'm obviously going to bring kale. I'm going to bring bell pepper because for me, like obviously you need your vegetables. You got to be taking those craps. Uh, you got to stay healthy when you're on this Island. So kale and bell pepper, hundred percent. I'm going to bring avocado because you know what? Can't live without that. Get those healthy, uh, mono and saturated choice, fats. Yeah. Yeah. I'm choice. bringing mango because for me, like mango is my favorite fruit. Um, it fulfills the role of anything sweet I would need as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to bring that. So kale, bell pepper, avocado, mango. And then we got to get like, you know, our carbs and protein. This is a tough one because I like all sorts of combinations of these foods. I'd, I'd probably bring, it would probably be sweet potato and probably salmon, um, like, or tofu. And I know you don't, you don't like tofu, but salmon for the vitamin D, the omega threes. Yeah. We're going to get a bunch of sun on this Island, but those would be my six. I know it's such a dietitian answer, but I think those would be the six that I would truly enjoy eating every day. And that would give me like actual pretty good nourishment across all the key nutrients. So yeah, what yeah. you got for us. So what's funny is uh, about half of those are actually not surprised. What I would pick. Yeah. What yeah I would but we're, we're related genetically by 50%. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. so um, salmon was at the top of my list. Yeah. I love salmon. Uh, <clears throat> For me, one that would differ is I'm a huge fan of rice. Yep. Huge fan of rice. Um, so it's also some. Also, I was kind of thinking, you know, rice is a great fit in as far as I don't get bored of rice. Right. I also don't really get bored of salmon, but I tried to think of things that I could enjoy for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, I respect that. Quinoa another, would have been up there for me. Is, what quinoa? Quinoa yeah. would have been yeah. For me, another source of meat that would give me some variety instead of salmon. So either I would say either a chicken or a lamb I could do it or okay. either one of those um, as, a, as an option. Bell peppers, for sure. Yeah. Love bell peppers. One nice. of my favorite. No, you do. Um, I try and get you one when you come over. Yeah, exactly. Um, and sweet potatoes as well. Nice. And I was thinking also in terms of like having a source of fat. I mean, olive oil would actually make sense. Um, cause if we were to theor theoretically like cook as well, or whatever, that would be, you know, probably, I, I don't mind stuff a bit. I don't mind myself a touch dry as you know, but I know you like yeah. to, to top yourself. Okay. So recap your list yeah. so far, recap your list. So, so far. that's, that's actually the six. So basically okay. I could have a bonus one, right. But basically salmon, salmon. and rice, and they go together phenomenally, phenomenally. Yep, I agree. Them both. Um, another source of meat just to have variety. So either chicken or lamb, I, I, you know, okay. kind of a toss up there. I could do with either one. Yep. Uh, bell peppers. Yep. Olive oil. Olive oil. And then I'm kind of torn between, I, I would probably need the olive oil as a source of fat. So it kind right. of has to end up there. Right. But the, the last thing that kind of goes nicely with the others and, you know, can hear your thoughts a bit about this as well, but either like limes or lemons interesting um, i like i like lemon or lime on salmon and oh. um you know there are some health benefits to having a bit of that with water and things like that so um so you would take that you would take a lemon or lime and you would omit i i, I, I mean i could never I do that i could never omit. do that omit fruit i could never omit any fruit oh at all. yeah well that's the problem there's only so if i had to i would probably take out here's the other thing if yeah. we have overlap now now it's not really the same thought experiment, but you know, I could probably take out either. Well, that's the problem. It's hard to say, right? I could probably live without. Yeah, I could probably substitute fruits in for the rice, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so I'm willing. Okay, so let's say we agree on salmon and pepper, right? So let's let's just yeah. say now we're gonna go together, right? And we have to compromise yeah. on, on our six. 
So salmon and pepper, easy. We agree on that. Honestly, I'm willing to give up. I and mean, even though you pick sweet potatoes, I'm I'm willing to take that. Like for, if you had to choose between sweet potatoes and rice, like I I would ha- be happy to align with you. I could eat rice every day the rest of my life too. Yeah, yeah. So which yeah. one, if you had to choose between those two, I'll let you just um, make that decision. I mean, I feel like rice because it's something that's plain, and so I don't picture ever getting tired of the taste of it because of that. Actually, right. What kind or of rice you bring in? What? What kind of rice you bring in? Um, I tend to eat, I've historically eaten a lot of basmati rice. Yep. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on the subtle differences between same different types and forms of rice, but yeah, basmati rice is solid. And, and okay. So, you know, I'm willing to omit sweet potato. So we got rice, salmon, bell pepper together. Um, I'm in, I'm actually surprised, you know, you didn't pick any chocolate cause I know you you like chocolate. So yeah, was that, was that a tough one? Chocolate, that's an easy one for me to not, not include because as much as I enjoy chocolate, it's my main source of, if, when I do have unhealthy food, like that's my, right. that's what I enjoy. Um, but it's also a bit disruptive on my digestive system. And so if right. I'm, if I'm selecting just six foods, the other foods would be tasty enough that I could live without chocolate. It'd be much better not to. Right. If five, six of those lints gets the stomach going, eh? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, exactly. you know, yeah, that's that, that that that's rare. It's tough. It's tough when you choose six and you're gonna have it the rest of your life. It's tough. Like I do, like I don't mind, like, yeah, I, I don't mind chocolate for sure, but it wouldn't make the six. Like mango mango personally brings me much more, much more joy yeah. because there's like nothing quite as good as a mango. Yeah. Uh okay. So on that note though, like if you had to bring a fruit, you know what I mean? I know lemon or lime yeah. is like okay, cool. Sure. I mean, yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, but what fruit would you bring? I would the the one that comes to mind first and foremost is raspberries. I love I do enjoy berries. If I had to pick a more, I mean, all all fruits are going to have various nutri- nutritional benefits. But I guess right. for me, the taste of raspberries is like top notch. Mangoes right. as well. Mangoes as well. I mean, right. it's got I'm willing to probably- compromise. I'm willing to comp. I would I'd be willing to take raspberries instead of mangoes. So then we have salmon, bell pepper raspberries rice yeah right and then we have a conundrum with this olive oil and avocado thing yeah i mean ironically one we could, or the other avocado yeah. oil but that doesn't yeah, quite yeah, exactly that's neither here nor there that probably favors you i don't know that'd be a tough like i don't know like, that'd be a tough one to say that if i could put olive oil on my rice and salmon versus having avocado that'd be a tough we have to i think we have to to agree to disagree on that i one. guess i just wonder how dry the so do you do you often cook with no oil no, I cook with oil, but I'm just saying like, yeah. we, we can only bring six things, you know what I mean? And I don't think the, yeah. the, imp, the forget like the nutrition side of things, whatever, that's fine. But the, yeah. the, the, the value, the joy of, of, of avocado would bring me is much more than the joy that having all Fair oil enough. would bring me. I like avocados as well. Yep. Um, but I would say for me, I love olive oil and I'd feel like it's a necessity for me to enjoy the meats. So I right. have to like, yeah. Okay, so let's okay, so that's fine. So let's just. But I say, mean, we don't. Are we trying to pick now like six between us? Like if we're there together, we pick six. Basically, we're we're trying to we're yeah. trying to arrive at a compromise. So okay, let, um, let, 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 let's yeah, let's well yeah. I mean, you, like, you tell I me. I could if you do without the lemons and limes, right? I could do without that. Yeah, and yeah that so we agreed on raspberries did. instead. What? That one was like, yeah, we'll do raspberries instead. Oh, like, okay. I'll give up mango. You give lemon lines. We'll take raspberries. Um, I could. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a tough one. It's a tough you, one. Yeah, it is tough. Yeah, when you nerd down like that. Because we're doing it right. Like this is like a highly. Yeah, it's like it's like as if we had to to agree yeah. with it. Okay, so if avocado, let's put the oil avocado aside. I mean, kale. You know, I can't. I mean, that's a. T- I don't know. And we we won't, we probably won't be able to agree on that. No. Yeah. No, we can't. It's, it's, <laughs> that's because when you start to go between two people, it's like you're really only picking three each almost. It's like, right. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. You know what? Sorry knowing what we have overlap on let's actually just do that briefly if we, if we can only bring three but you have to like entrust so pick three in your head we and we have to but this is it we just we choose right yeah. now knowing the, the problem, other person okay well the problem is then there's no i don't even know if there's a combination of three that like would be sustainable like you know because then you're talking like you're either foregoing a, a source of fat like right not a good I idea. mean, okay, I guess you would get it from salmon, but are you getting enough fat from salmon? I don't know. Nah, I guess you are actually. You're getting, some, you're getting something. You're getting those yeah. omega-3s. No, it's, it's probably enough. Yeah. It's probably enough, actually. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one. I mean. No, it's really tough, man, because then you're you're missing out on so, so many things. Like, you're either missing out on, if you're picking veggies, you're basically not having any real carbs. Like, if I pick bell peppers, like, how many carbs are in bell peppers? Yeah, like, how many bell peppers are you going to eat every day, right? Yeah, no, I couldn't um, eat more than one. 
I'm just oh, thinking. Yeah. I just see, like when I think of my six, I I'm like I'll just see one big meal before this. Yeah, 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 that's funny. I would just think I would just eat all those six as one large meal a day. Like you know how I eat, right? Like these yeah, massive, yeah. like ninety minute meals. Like in my head, I would just eat that massive meal and just call it a day. But yeah, um, yeah it's, it's it's a fun, it's a fun little uh, it's a fun little experiment. What yeah. would you say? And I know you you have you have uh, a client shortly, so yeah. well I won't keep you too we long. But minutes. we got like three minutes or so. But let me ask you, like, tell me two or three things that were maybe painful to omit from the top from that from the six that you would. So I uh, actually tried to i I didn't have to overthink all the different options that I would enjoy. Um, yeah. I could come up with them as we go now really but um i mean fruit i can live without fruit i enjoy fruit i, I love raspberries i love mangoes they weren't right. going to make it into my list of six right um i feel like i i really enjoy other veggies but if i had to pick one or two it's looking like bell peppers and sweet potatoes would end up at the top so it wasn't too big of a deal for me right and having two different protein sources would be definitely sufficient. I feel like that's interesting. That's so. interesting. Cause I, in my, it's, it, I can see why in my mind, I, I, I mean, I, I would, I would probably bring tofu and salmon. I don't know if I would like, it's, it's tough. Like, I mean, I do, you know, I'm like, I'm like, let's say like 95% pescatarian. So I definitely probably wouldn't bring chicken or something like that, even though like yeah. I will eat chicken and beef, you know, with the situation okay, really, calls yeah. for it. Okay. Um, yeah. Like what's the more, let's pick, let, let's just select one fun food that we can, what, one more fun food for me, it'd be ice cream cake for sure. But I mean, I don't true, know if yours would just be, yeah, yeah. be be specific. Let's say uh, I, you know, I recently had a marble slab ice cream cake, which was absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna go with yeah. that. So for so, you, if you had a more fun food. Okay, I mean, I don't. I, I feel like I'd have to give it a shout out to like a specific. You know, yeah, it'd have to be specific. Chocolate, yeah. right? But it would be basically. I like dark chocolate, and obviously, we can probably both agree dark chocolate is healthier than milk chocolate. But the problem is dark chocolate has a more uh, disruptive bitter. effect on my digestive system. Oh, interesting. That's the thing. I don't even mind. No, I don't mind the bitterness of it. No, I, I won't, I, I won't mind it. the little gas on the island. It's all good. Yeah. But the problem is it's just, it just really disrupts my, my, my bowel, my, you know, my bowel. Interesting. Not, yeah. not, uh, for whatever I, wonder, I wonder if it's the caffeine content because you don't only really drink caffeine, eh? Maybe. I, wonder, I don't know. It could be. Which is another interesting thing about you. Whereas I'm having like my second cold brew of the day. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. Um, what, so what about you? What's the number one? So for me, it'd be a form of milk chocolate. No. I mean, maybe it'd be ice cream cake. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a sure. Ice cream cake like is my favorite chocolate. thing. It's not like your basic chocolate bar milk chocolates, but there's a couple companies that make, you know, some nice milk chocolate that I well, could, I can do as a fun thing. Well, was, was there one or two things that were really tough for you to, uh, to omit? To um, well, I expanded to six to, to rectify that. You know what I mean? It, it's tough. Like sure. sweet potato would be in contention with probably quinoa and rice, which is why I was happy to compromise with you. Because sweet potato I like, but I feel like it's easier to get sick of, you know? And part of the reason I took salmon over tofu is because I feel like salmon, I feel like tofu is easier for me to get sick of. I know you don't really like that at all. Yeah. I quite like tofu. But um, honestly, like, you know, I'm, I'm a relatively... You know, I keep my my foods like I keep my my social circle relatively tight. So yeah. like, I mean, I could genuinely, and this is unusual. Like, I'm not saying anyone should aim for this, or, but I, I am who I am. Like, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm unusual in the sense. But I could probably eat those six foods one yeah. large, one exceptionally large meal a day. You know, it'll yeah. be thousands of calories. Pretty much joke yeah, around. Pretty much consistently. But, yeah, I could probably do that and be happy. I mean, I would definitely miss pistachios. Uh, I'd probably miss honey crisp apples too. Um, but. Yeah, those would be those would be true, the two I would miss. Because honey crisp apples and pistachios are one of my favorite snack almost. True, true. Yeah. Cool, man. Okay, this yeah. was fun. All right, yeah. this is a good time. I'm glad that you uh, you pushed it pushed it to record. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. All right. I'll catch cool, you cool. soon. All right. we'll Have fun with the client. Another time. All right. Thanks. See you guys.